So it's about 4.40 p.m. here in the Orlando Winter Park area of Florida. September 28th. It's a Wednesday and Hurricane Ian is here. Just made landfall a couple hours ago. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. It is 5.30 now on Wednesday, the 28th of September. Um, basically, the video is just gonna kind of be documenting what happens today and what happens tomorrow. I think the hurricane um, isn't supposed to hit our area till really early um, in the morning, like 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, in case you don't know, we, uh, myself and Tampa J and and little Bella. Um, we're all here at Sporn Ryan's. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're crashing no uh, Sporn Ryan's uh, house. So we, we live in Tampa and, um, you know, a couple days ago, just a couple days ago, they predicted that this hurricane, Hurricane Ian, um, would be hitting directly on top of Tampa and um, have uh, catastrophic devastating effects. Bless you, Bella. Bless you, Bella. Um, and we are actually under a mandatory evacuation, so we had to leave. They were shutting down the utilities in our apartments, so we really had to leave. We had no choice. We had to go. We, um, once they, you know, said it was mandatory evacuation, we immediately started prepping. Yep. And then Packed we found it. out we could come here. Mm hmm Again, thanks to Ryan. Mm hmm And, uh, Ryan and his family, yep. Been here we've for been here ever since. 48 hours. Yeah, 48 hours, just about. And the storm's so, now just coming in. Yeah, really just now. Basically up until this point, it's been very, very light rain, um, hardly any wind, etc. Uh, it just made landfall, as I said, a couple of hours ago, and now it's finally starting to kind of look not so fantastic outside. It's just been steadily raining uh, for a couple of hours now. It's 5.34 p.m. 5 34 p.m. So anyway, this video is basically just going to be um, Yeah, documenting the experience over the next I think couple of days probably um, I don't know how much more we will see the rest of the day I'm just gonna assume that it's obviously gonna get worse as yeah. Time goes on but yeah, the hurricane should be kind of like over top of us by tomorrow tomorrow sometime tomorrow Yep, so but hopefully by that point it will only be it's predicted to only be like a cat one at that point when only a cat here. one yeah by the time it hits this area and we saw that this is the fifth most powerful storm to ever hit the united states historic storm yeah it was yeah. actually when it hit landfall it was either one or two miles per hour um away from being a cat five. cat five so for basically all purposes it was a cat five hurricane so it yeah. was it was big it was really really big and where it did hit um that footage just, is terrible yeah we, we've been watching the the footage all day and the photos and all of that Myers, stuff Santa and it Bell just is Cape Coral. absolutely devastating um so i hope everyone down really there, hard to watch I, we have friends down there and people who watch us and Mm -hmm. Mar goes out to you guys. I hope you all got out or, or at least you're in a safe spot and for those that you know really getting hit right now just praying for them. Yeah yep that's that's pretty much all we can yeah. we can do at this point. Um, Thunderbug wishes so Thunderbug. You as well. Right so anyway that's what this video is gonna be just kind of showing you all uh, what a hurricane is like at least here, everybody's uh, experience is going to be different depending on where they are and all of that stuff. But mm. um, this one's going to be going to be mine. It's going to be ours. So okay, Hurricane Ian, here we go. Go away. So here's a quick look at my at the Twitter feed right now for Hurricane Ian. So there was a fire that occurred over in Naples, Florida because of a down power line. That was uh, a crazy video. Um, oh yeah, the Sarasota, or no, Sunken Garden, sorry, over in St. Pete, they put their flamingos, 
In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Or flamingos. The flamingos. Hopefully they'll be safe. They better. Inside of there, there's a photo of the someone captured of the hurricane in there. And um, oh yeah. Uh, I guess there are sharks in the uh, streets street of Fort sharks. Myers. Yeah, street sharks are finally, finally, it's finally happening, y'all. All seriousness, though, this is Fort Myers right now. Actually, that was a couple hours ago, so who knows what it is right now. But yeah, it is, it is incredibly bad. Those are all houses just, like, floating away. It's really sad. Really, really sad. And this is the second time now today that the power has flickered and the Wi-Fi is off. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, this window does not accurately tell you how bad it is raining outside. We uh, just took Bella out for a walk or rather just uh, right out on the front lawn so she could use the bathroom and uh, it is pouring outside. It's definitely, definitely raining. But um, wanted to give a little update kind of on what we're doing right now. So we have as much electronic stuff as possible uh, plugged in for the time being while we have um, power. So I have like my work computer plugged in, my personal computer, my phone, of course and uh my other computer and um i have my light also plugged in because this is what i use um on my camera for uh sir henry's it's new it's uh something it's i got recently it yeah yeah it's rechargeable so we're um plugged this in so we could use it as a flashlight later if we have to and uh, I know you got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and then Ryan plugged into yeah flashlights. Yeah, we got flashlights. I also charged my GoPro yesterday, and um, I also charged up my uh, Nintendo Switch as well, just in just in case. Another thing that we're doing too is um, dropping down the AC temp, so it's all the way down to 65 right now. So again, when we lose power, hopefully it won't be too uh warm for a while Bella, you're all covered up got your got your blankies on and you're all nice and set to be cuddled with thunderbug and bucky we're all good here we want your beaver nudge yes we need them for the hurricane well Tampa Jay unfortunately ate all of the beaver, beaver nuggets oh, in one fell swoop last night, so... Tampa Jay! <laughs> oh no! Bucky, 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 calm down! Oh no. Here is what we made for tonight. A huge pile of pizza rolls and some egg rolls. Hopefully this will last. We will we, see. We would have had some watermelon this too, one. but somebody filmed it and it got cut up. It's right here. That watermelon? That's a deep cut from my vid. Rest sure in peace, is. my friends. It's cut. <sighs> <laughs> I filmed it. Okay, you all hear that? That's the wind and the rain hitting against the side of the house. It's definitely picking up quite a lot. Ooh. It's pretty dark out See there. See that lightning? Yeah, it's hard to hard to see. So I think like the bulk, the majority of the hurricane is going to be hitting us around 2 a.m. It's currently about 9 o'clock right now. And uh, yeah, it should be throughout the early, early morning tomorrow or tonight, however you want to look at it. So we're giving the monsters a try. The new movie by Rob Zombie. We've I, heard horrible things. I heard it was fantastic. <laughs> I, I I heard the opposite. So we're we're gonna find out. It is very very windy out now. Very windy. Lots of rain. 
definitely the most it's been so far. Also, we are now without internet, at least for the time being. We are right on, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes into the Munsters or so. Honestly, I don't, I don't know how to feel about it so far. It's been okay. Wish I could tell you. And but... Tampa J, who is in the dark and you literally can't see right now. I wish I could tell you, but I fell asleep during the monster. There we go. So let yeah. that speak for itself. There you go. Okay, so good morning, everyone. It is now the next day, Thursday, the 29th of September. And we woke up to not really much of anything, at least not yet. We haven't checked outside to assess the damages or anything. The damages, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but basically, what happened was somewhere, sometime during the middle of the night, uh, Ian turned into a tropical storm, and uh, so downgraded down to a tropical storm, and um, it passed right underneath us here in Orlando and is moving currently eastward on the other side. Um, so we got really, really lucky. We never lost power. There's like a couple moments. Um, during the night where like the power flickered a bit but other than that we didn't lose any power and um all three of us slept straight through the night and um didn't have any issues or anything it's definitely very windy definitely very rainy but we could hear it from here for sure and uh, it's still pretty rainy out there and windy but um it's nowhere near as bad as uh what it could have been and what I guess it was predicted to be so we're lucky we're lucky here in this moment in this space at least so it's good it's good news we are the blue dot right now the sky and uh there's hurricane now tropical storm ian a bit below us and heading out eastward so we're very lucky i'm giving this a shot now i'm i set up my gopro here up on the window facing towards the infamous trees outside here and i'm doing a doing a little time lapse for y'all so if it works out i'll insert the footage right now so update um definitely a lot of flooding that is going on in uh not only our area, but like all around our area from Sanford to Kissimmee and whatnot. So, um, you know, we knew this, but it's definitely still not safe to like go outside. It's not safe to go home um, and all of that stuff. It is still very much, still very much happening out there. Very, very windy and rainy. Additionally, apparently half of, like half this neighborhood doesn't have power right now um so somehow knock on wood i guess we do still have power um not really sure how that is a thing but here we are i'm assuming it's because i just simply am not allowed to have any time off of work i'm gonna guess that that's why because yes i am still working still have to work oh man that tree there in the middle We've been watching that all morning. It is going, it is so uh, significantly leaned to the right, a heck of a lot more than it was yesterday. Ooh, it is leaning. Every now and then we get that right gust to win. By the way, eating chips with Bella right now, so. Pardon. Don't mind us. Just doing our thing. Oh yeah, the power went out for just a second there, so the Wi-Fi is resetting right now. So, just watching, watching the trees. Okay, we are outside now. Bella is going on a walk here. On a walk. And it is very cold out. About a balmy, like, 60-something odd degrees outside. It is rather, rather cold. Um, but the walk was successful. 
We, um, I didn't show too much because I don't want to like give away where Ryan and his family live and whatnot, but um, it was very minimal damage. A couple of trees and porta potties are down, but other than that, it seems like everybody in this neighborhood, in this immediate area, seems to be okay, um, which is really, really good considering just uh, you know, a few miles down the road, um, a lot of Orlando is uh, very, very flooded. Um, just like a historic record-breaking amount of rain here in the Orlando area. I know like there's parts of Kissimmee that are like completely underwater which is really heartbreaking to watch. I used to live in the Kissimmee area. Um, I know that place very well and that, that's that's hard to, to look at as well. So um, we are definitely very lucky. It's hard to feel good about it when you know that like a bunch of other people out there um in this state are just you know they lost everything they lost absolutely everything um the pictures and the videos and whatnot are just it's just devastating like wow we did what we what we thought that we had to do and, and we made the best decision and um you know our apartment has been without power without utilities and whatnot this whole time anyway so we couldn't we couldn't have stayed there even really if we wanted to um, so this way, like, I was still able to work and we were still able to, you know, have a comfortable place to, to live and to stay for a little bit. Again, thanks to Ryan and his family, um, which is, you know, a debt that, how do you repay that? Like, that's just something that we will never be able to thank them enough for through all of this. So, um, we're really happy and lucky about that. Um, but... Yeah, so the new ETA, the new plan is for us to um, head back tomorrow, uh, back to Tampa. So that'll be Friday, September 30th. We will we will head back tomorrow. We think that there's electricity back at our place, but um, we're not 100% sure, and we're still not sure about like the roads and the conditions of all of that for the journey back home yet. So. We figure we'll give it one more day. We know that there's power here. I can work here. I still have to work. Um, so right out tomorrow after I work is uh, we'll head back home, head back home to Tampa. Well, would you look at that blue sky? I haven't seen that in a long, long time. It actually feels amazing outside, doesn't it, Bella? Yesterday it was cold, it was in the 60s. I don't know what it is right now. It's probably in the 70s, if I had to guess. By the way, today is Friday, September the 30th. And uh, once I'm done working, the plan is I'm going to try to head back home. Back home to Tampa. Also, just so you know, yes. Yes, I did enjoy the Monsters movie, personally. I can see why people didn't like it, but me, I I actually thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was adorable. And this is probably the weirdest video that I've ever made. I've never made anything over the span of multiple days before. So I don't even remember like exactly what I've said or what I've even shot anymore. I, I have no idea, but I guess I'll find out later when I edit the video. Um, but I wanted to take this time to say that basically the, there's two big reasons why, uh, me personally, I have decided to make these videos about, uh, my experience with Hurricane Ian. And, um, the big reason in the first one, uh, when I showed that we were evacuating and all of that stuff was to hopefully help people. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people that watch our videos, mainly Tampa Jay's videos, um, they're, they're watching them and they're, because they're thinking about moving here to Florida. I wanted to help people understand that, it, it, you know, it's not all just um, theme parks and, and beaches and all of this really awesome stuff that Florida has, but it has the hurricanes and the crappy weather uh, as well and um, you know that's something that we as Floridians have to deal with basically every single year 
and um, the uncertainty of it all and the, the scariness of it all is something that is very very real so hopefully at this point you've seen at least some of those images and you've seen how Hurricane Ian has absolutely devastated uh, many areas here in Florida and um, a lot of people have lost everything their their homes their vehicles uh, loved ones um, you know neighbors all, all kinds of uh, really horrendous things have happened um, and it's absolutely heartbreaking to think about and um, one of the ways that I'm hoping to help is not only by showing you all like this is okay this is what a hurricane is and this is how we deal with it as Floridians but also bring awareness to the fact that a lot of people are um, hurting right now and a lot of people need a lot of help and um, one of the ways that you all at home who maybe don't live in Florida or or whatever it is you know can't actually go out and volunteer and save old men from trucks and stuff like that um, is to donate to help uh, by donating money to uh, to good causes and organizations that are uh, doing their part to help people here in Florida um, and that's certainly something that I'm going to be doing myself um, so I've been thinking about this for a while now and um, all of the money that I have made in the video of us evacuating um, that I've made from YouTube I'm going to donate all of that uh, to an organization I think I have one in mind um, but I'm not sure I'm still doing a lot of research on it all. I'm hoping by the end of this video I will have like a list of all of the organizations that I'm that I'm looking at to to donate to um, to share with you all but um, I'm just kind of telling you now like where my thoughts are with it but um so I'm gonna do that for that video I'm gonna do it for this video as well so any money that I make from YouTube I'm gonna donate directly uh, back to one of these organizations. The main reason that I wanted to do this was to help people in whatever way that I possibly can, um, whether it's simply putting a smile on someone's face or actually getting some of my um, thoughts and ideas across, um, bringing awareness to things, um, educating people, whatever it is, uh, that's what I feel like I am put on this planet to do so that's what I'm doing that's the purpose of this channel all right and once again the car is full of stuff just about packed up everything we're about to about to hit the road Google Maps is saying two hours until we get there we're gonna go via the 417 and then I-4 we're hoping that the flooding will not be an issue we don't know yet for sure but the Google Maps and all the research that we have done has suggested that it should be okay. So, fingers crossed. Here we go. Also, still a very beautiful blue sky out there. It is absolutely gorgeous out right now. It figures the calm after after the storm. By the way, usually during hurricanes, they do suspend the tolls on the toll lanes here in Florida. I mean, it's only fair. People are trying to evacuate and get back home and all of that stuff so there you go tolls are suspended Woohoo! a lot of debris on the side of the road here not in the road thankfully but on the side of the road tons of tree branches and whatnot it's good to see the mickey ears there they made it through the hurricane thank goodness water is very high over there on the right stopped at a rest stop for a restroom break for everyone by the way Bella has a fancy new pajama set thanks to Ryan and his family isn't she adorable Mr. Skelly is gonna be so pleased but uh, yeah let me show you here lots of just like down limbs and debris and whatnot 
the whatever water was back here is definitely filled up a little bit. So, there you go, almost home. So far, so good, knock on wood. Everybody say hello to Sir Henry's. We are passing it right now. Oh, looks like maybe they're uh, doing like a little fire there or something. Fire, maybe, burning off some debris or something. But uh, good news there, Sir Henry's is fine. Uh, only a few minor uh, damages from what I understand or, you know, just the debris and all of that stuff. That's pretty typical. So thank goodness we were very worried about that. Initially the hurricane was coming right for us over on this side. So glad that they're doing okay. From what I understand, a bunch of other local haunts are doing okay too. Um, I'll have to look in that a little bit more as well. But yeah, Sir Henry's thankfully is uh, still good. They put in a lot of hard work this past year and uh, would have been a real, real shame if, uh, if, if Ian there destroyed it. A real darn shame. Where are them dinos at? Where are them dinos at? Okay. I see the one out there. That's good. That's good. It's a big T-Rex one up at the front. And, uh, okay, good. These guys up here. There we go. He's good. He's good. He's good. And he's good. Okay, good. Honestly, the fact that this city is even standing right now is kind of amazing. Actually, it's a miracle. It's, uh, it's very hard to think that, um, you know, Tampa could have just been absolutely leveled. Much like Fort Myers was. Uh, the hurricane was initially on Monday coming straight for us. And at the last minute, more or less, it went towards Fort Myers, more towards the Fort Myers area. And um, if you've seen the, de the devastation there, you know, that would have, that would have easily have been Tampa. I don't, I don't know what their flooding situation is like, like in general, like on a, on a quote unquote good day, a normal rainy day, but uh, here in Tampa, 20 minutes of rain and we are flooded. We are completely flooded. So I can't imagine a basically Cat 5 hurricane barreling through this, uh, this city. I, I really, I, I don't know. It would have been historic in a, in a bad way. There's the Emily Arena, that's where the folks play. Underbug is in there somewhere, I can only assume. But yeah, I just, uh, this is actually the first time that I've really been able to like kind of process things a little bit of what's happened. Cause seriously, like I've just kind of been nonstop for like a while, but now that I've been sitting here, like actually driving, sorry, the road is bumpy. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely hitting me that um, we could have lost everything. We would have lost everything if that hurricane came to Tampa like it was supposed to. That is a lot, that is, that is a lot to deal with. And as much as I feel very lucky, it's just horrible to think about. You know, the Fort Myers area, Sanibel Island, all of that. Arcadia we hear is doing really bad too. Like, yes, we're happy, we're lucky. But it's hard at what cost. It's hard to feel grateful when you know that. You know, a lot of other people lost everything. This is hard. It's, it's hard to deal with. It's very hard to deal with. Home. Got about 
stepped inside of our apartment and everything seems to look just fine. That's how we left it. Yeah, just uh just how we how we left it. We have power as you can see and uh we tried the water earlier water. and it is on. So that's good. The next thing we'll have to try is the Wi-Fi plugging that back in, making oh, sure yeah. that it's gonna be okay, and uh, probably the first thing I'll do is start moving the plant babies back outside where they where yeah. they belong. Looks like they've got a decent amount of sun. Looks like they're doing okay, so that's that's good. And it appears that everything is good in both of the rooms, the office here and the bedroom. We checked around the windows to see if there is any water damage. And uh, it all looks fine. The cardboard boxes worked. How about that? It was better than nothing. Yeah. And the turlet. Good. Does it, does it flush? That's uh, it's also very important. Wait, did it flush properly? Yes. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, by the way, we did put some stuff in the bathtub. Yeah, it's the only place I could think to put those. Yeah, just in case we had any water damage in here, yeah, we put some important open. stuff yeah. inside of the bathtub. Instead of filling it up with water, which also would have been a good idea, but um, we honestly, we, were, we were, yeah, we were a little bit more concerned about uh, our valuables. The our things material that, things. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> material things, but these things actually mean, like, a oh. lot to us. Oh my gosh, yes. Every single thing inside of this box here is irreplaceable, and so we're... So were those, that's so that's why they're in the tub. Grandmother's guitar. <laughs> yeah, so important. In here. It's still cold in here, babe. I'm sure it is. No one opened it that we know of. No, we're good. The beer's still here, so that's a good still thing. Still cold. Oh my gosh. How are the how are those cherries? Uh, I doubt those cherries. Eh, they're not too bad. They're not like they're, moldy yeah. and gross, so that's a good thing. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, the power's probably been on, so it probably got cold again. Yeah, exactly. That's that's yeah. what I would think. Okay. Plants are back in their place. I think they are very happy about it too. I'm pretty sure it didn't get everybody where uh, where they were before, but nonetheless. It's close enough. Pretty amazing as we are putting stuff away, bringing them out of their weird hidey holes that we put stuff in, in the closet and... Oh, hi. What not? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I couldn't time that better uh, if I said so myself. Got it in there. Yeah, we're, we're pulling stuff out of their weird places and putting them back where weird. they, where they used to belong. And it's where just amazing that, uh, that they're here. When we put them away, Thankfully. We had no idea. We had no idea if we would ever be seeing them again, if they would be safe, if the water damage would be okay. And uh, thankfully, I guess we didn't get it as bad as, uh, certainly not as bad as we thought, but... Uh, terror dogs protected the home. They did. My, my uh, feng shui. Feng shui dogs. Yeah, can't think of what they're called. They're called terror dogs, like Ghostbusters. Yeah. There's two That's of a good them, one so. too. There are two of them. They're foo dogs. Foo dogs. For some reason, that didn't sound right in my brain at the time, but they're foo dogs. That's a normal dog. So That's a beagle dog. So you're saying they're foo fighters? They are foo fighting. Her king fighting dogs. dogs. I almost forgot to mention that Mr. Skelly, Peter Pumpkinhead, the unnamed baby, and all of them are doing just fine. They held down the fort just like they were supposed to do. Got a name for him. Go on. Ian. No. <laughs> it's not gonna be not gonna happen. No. Yeah. Are you relieved to be back home? I, uh, instant, oh, the best I've felt, you know. In a while. In a while. Yeah, yeah it's just such a relief. The moment we walked in and saw everything sitting exactly where we left it and oh, thinking of everything that all the emotions and the build up through the whole I mean before we left just that alone just yeah thankfully um just very thankful yeah we're very very thankful um when we left here and we were packing up all of our stuff like I 
it didn't really like click in my brain and I don't think it really does for anybody unless you've like actually lost your things before, you know, your home and all of that stuff. But it didn't really click to me that, um, well, what could have happened here is we were packing up everything. So it was almost like a more emotional when we got back home and seeing the destruction um, of Ian and, and all of those areas. And it's like, that could have been, should have been, was targeted to be Tampa. Yep. And um, it just ended up being that it wasn't. No. And um, it's like I was saying to you earlier, it's like, I, it's so hard. I am grateful, obviously. I'm very grateful and very happy that we still have our home, that we still have our things and all of that stuff. And of course, most importantly, our health and our lives and our Bella and all of that stuff. But um, and our friends. It's just it's almost hard to be. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's hard to have your heart swell with gratefulness and whatnot when you know that. Well, the cost of that, in a way, was everybody that the hurricane did immediately affect. Um, their lives are ruined. Yeah. Their homes are destroyed. Their loved ones are gone. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you reconcile with that in your brain. Because obviously we're happy to be here, but it's also very hard. Yeah, um, it's difficult. Not fun what we went through, but, you know... We had it better than a lot of a people, lot out, of people. Of, out there. and um, A lot of people. There's I mean, a... even between our situation and losing everything, possibly losing your life, there was so many more difficult situations. You know, the, the logistics involved with each, each specific situation. Some people, you know, have to go to a hospital every day. Uh, they're on dialysis, just to give an example of the type of medical emergencies that you know, this happens, uh, happened to, might happen in these situations and people calling down to their relatives, um, not hearing from them, uh, that lived in the area that's happening right now. So these are the types of things that come with, um, you know, living in Florida. It's, it's definitely a choice to live anywhere, but you know, um, I love this place. I love, uh, Tampa Bay and I was so worried for it. And, um, you know, it's always, it's always a risk wherever you live. There's, you know, in the Midwest, in the plains, there's tornadoes. Um, out west, there's earthquakes. It wildfires. All, wildfires. You almost, know, snowstorms. Everywhere you live, there's some there's kind not of a risk. Perfect yeah. place on earth. Mother oh. Nature, um, you know, is very, can be brutal. And mm -hmm. uh, also, it can be very beautiful. So, living between the beauty and the brutalness coping with what comes um, from that, it, it's just, it's hard to fathom. And it's these situations that make you realize and appreciate the people that you love and mm -hmm. show you who your true friends are. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just very grateful. Again, I said it in my video a lot, thanks so much to Ryan and, yep. and to this girl right here because I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do, Belle and I wouldn't know what to do without you. And we've been through this situation, not as bad, but um, before. Uh, alone and we just didn't know what to do and you be you being in my life made me value uh, things more and take initiative and just wanted to protect you and um, this house more than anything so thank you didn't mean to go off on a tangent in your video <laughs> no it's good it's yeah. yeah I mean these are our, our real thoughts and feelings about it all and and whatnot is is real people with real feelings and real lives who live here in Florida. Um, you know, I've lived here most of my life pre YouTube and have mm -hmm. been very used to hurricanes and all that stuff. And this is what you have to deal with. And it's like you were saying earlier off camera, like it's this is a beautiful state. There's a lot of really nice things about it, but there's a lot of not so nice things about it. And hurricanes are definitely one of them. And if yeah. you choose to live here, if you do live here, you will go through this period. End of uh, story, you will go through a hurricane. Yeah. So just, you have to be prepared for that and do your research. And, and I don't, we don't mean to scare anybody, of course. Right. You know, it's, you, like you just said, everywhere is a risk. But um, 
that's what we have here and you know as long as you're prepared and you take them seriously then you know you'll you'll be fine it, it's fine um but it's just one of those things you know it's just one of those things real talk yeah yeah real talk um and that actually kind of leads into uh going back to again the whole donation thing so um I have not really had time to compile that nice list that um, I really wanted to, but I will be working on that over the next few days. I'll share it here either on a community post, I'll share it in my social medias and all of that stuff. Um, and I'll also leave a, a list, you know, down below in the description box as well um, of places that you can donate, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to look for specific, specific ones. And one of the ones that I have found that I'm uh, really excited to um, to donate to and to help out is um, it's an organization called Florida Rising and um, they as well as I have their information pulled up here so they as well as um, Dream Defenders Florida Immigration Coalition Florida Jobs with Justice and Faith in Florida in coalition with all of those organizations they have created an uh, Ian Response Fund, okay. and the I've way to find in the way to find this, I think it's IanResponse.org. I'll put the I'll put the link right above here for you, and I'll also put it in the des the description below as well. But um, <clears throat> this com this uh, organization specifically, those organizations specifically, are helping. Uh, marginalized groups, groups that are underrepresented, um, groups, you know, communities that um, are often not prioritized uh, in situations mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why I'm really excited about this, that there is a specific fund that, um, that I can donate to and hopefully you will decide to donate to as well. Um, because that is what they are, that is what they focus on. Um, just reading off their site here, these groups provide life-saving food and supplies, set up community centers, help families navigate relief programs, and build organizing and advocacy campaigns to ensure communities are front and center in long-term recovery efforts. That's what I will be doing. Again, I'll put their information down below for you. I would very much encourage you to do the same, or if that's not your jam, there's plenty of other places that you can donate to. Again, I'll put a nice good list down below here for you. And again, the monies that I make um, from this video and from the video prior, it's all gonna be donated um, to some organization a month from now, whatever I decide it to be, I will circle back on that and let you all know for sure. So I appreciate you all watching. If you wanna like, share, comment, do all that stuff because that's gonna help the video and thus create more funds. Hmm. So, that's that. Chris the girl with that heart of gold. It's a lot of talking. 10 minutes later, that's a lot of talking. So I apologize, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. Um, we are so happy that we are back home. This is quite a journey. Um, going forward, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going back to the fun things now. <laughs> the normal back things. Back on uh, the schedule. Just so you know, um, you know, I want to bring awareness to all of this that's happening to help others, obviously, et cetera, et cetera. And now moving forward, at least for the foreseeable future, <laughs> until the next thing happens, um, all goes according to the plan. way the, the, the way that we will be helping is by providing joy and entertainment for you all and hopefully bringing a, a smile to your face. And I'm very excited about what we're doing tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. So, yep. I hope you enjoy living vicariously. The Chris the Girl here. And Tampa J. You made a video too today, yeah. so make sure you check that out I'm as well. I'm just happy to be a part of such a beautiful channel with such a beautiful person with such a beautiful heart. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you all. Thank you all very much for watching again and for all the well wishes and uh, for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. I would request that you take all of that and put it towards the people that really, really need it right now. Um, you, they, they really need it. I don't, you know, yeah. beating a dead horse here, but they really need it, so. It's a lot to say. Yeah, it was a lot to say. I it apologize, needed, it needed, but it needed to be needed said. It needed to be said, no apologies. Yeah, so, yeah. okay. 
Bye, everybody. We're gonna Goodbye. eat some food hopefully soon. Hopefully, and Pizza Hut will be here soon. Rest. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Bye, bye, everybody. Mr. Skelly's trying to wave in the back room. Bye, bye, everybody. The post hurricane food of champions here is from Pizza Hut. Pizza the Hut. We got some breadsticks too. I love the breadsticks. Oh, I'm so hungry. Okay. Mm. Bye, bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Gonna eat this pizza now. Bye, bye.